Hey, happy St. Patrick's Day, folks, from Thistlehawk Homestead. Hope y'all are well. Hope you didn't overdo it today, yesterday, the weekend, what have you. Be safe, be good, okay? Those are my words to wisdom. Anyhow, today on the homestead, we're doing one last boil on the maple sap we got today. We got about five gallons, but we're, the trick is we're not going to take it down all the way, okay? I'm going to take that five gallons to four to three and a half-ish. The goal is to get a little viscosity to it, so that way we can make it into maple mead, okay? Now, I wanted to reduce it down over the fire and not over the stove because I want it to have a bit of a smoky flavor. Uh, the syrup that I made, uh, we ended up making almost a gallon and a half of syrup um, this season, which for two weeks of tapping, okay, I'll take that. That's not bad. And only really five, six buckets total. <laughs> so it was, it, it was fun. It was my first year doing it and I've learned a lot. I look forward to doing it better and bigger uh, next year. So anyhow, back to the mead. We're going to do it smoky. So it's going to be a smoked maple mead that we're starting today on St. Patrick's Day, if you are. So all of a sudden the bro comes out. Um, so we're going to smoke down the, the, the sap. We're going to hit it with honey and let it go. A typical Acer Glen or a maple mead is equal parts honey and maple syrup. Now, our sap is maple, so I don't need to add syrup. So it's going to be fit for five gallons, 15 pounds of honey for probably five gallons of, of uh, sap reduction by the time we're done. And yeast, we'll put it into uh, one of our plastic carboys with a blow off tube because the sugar content is going to be high. Okay. For original gravity, typically this is around 1.6, 1.8, somewhere in there between the honey and the syrup. It's, it's pretty high. So anyways, we're gonna do that today. Uh, I've got corned beef boiling on the stove for corned beef hash for maybe a, a late uh, late afternoon uh, snack, if you would, with a little poached egg over the top for me. My wife's not uh, able to eat eggs, so we're not gonna do that. But um, it's it's a beautiful day. For those who went to the Dropkick Murphys concert last night in Boston, woo it was fucking amazing. I don't think I've ever experienced anything like that in my life. And unless I go to one again, I don't know that I will ever experience it again. It was insane. So much fun. And uh, wow, the energy, just the energy alone was outstanding. Hats off to Boston, hats off to the Dropkick Murphys and, and their two opening acts. I think it was uh, uh, a band named Kneecap and... Uh, it's got a, a uh, Stephen King reference there. The, the Clown, I believe is his name, is the name of the band. But anyways, best of luck to y'all. We'll talk to you later. Might throw another quick uh, reel or something in just as, as the day goes by. So enjoy your St. Patrick's Day. And again, be safe, please. The world is always better with you in it, not, in it, not out of it. Bye-bye.